it just have gone through periods of my life where like I've sang a lot and I've really helped people through my music and healing with sound and then other times when I was pulled back into reality and started um, living my life out of the expectations that were placed on in me through subconscious conditionings and also um, you know the judgments of others like uh, you know making my decisions out of fear and so um, when he said that it was like I don't know I just realized like I'm a healer it was it was like when I when I was in yoga class and I envisioned the the painting that I showed you earlier of the 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 orb of light the the lady standing up with the the yellow orb of light and just really yeah. tapping in and that mm -hmm. infinite source love that is within us all and um, I just realized like I have to be myself this is who I am I am a healer I am an artist like I have to embody this and um, and that's when I started to discipline my own lifestyle behaviors in order to live more in alignment and so I completely changed my diet and I changed you know my movement patterns so I started dancing <laughs> and I started um, doing uh, meditations and I I guess I, I'm there's I don't know if there's a secret it's it's just about tapping into source that is the secret that's the book to tap yeah. in. and you tap and to in and... your true authentic self yeah exactly and we have, and, so, um... we have so many um, intuitives on here because we're broadcasting and there's a 15 um, second delay and they're already picking up on what you're throwing down like they're already mm -hmm. like it's, just, it's amazing <laughs> yeah, it's, and it's energetic thing and everybody are, who's here is but as we be speak here. our own truth we activate others to speak theirs so it's a really beautiful thing exactly it is and and even though you know it's been all of these experiences to get here but now I'm here and I have something to say and I know I need to say it because um, we're all becoming like more service to others and I'm healing myself through speaking my truth and helping to activate others and um, help people to live divinely and um, that's something else that I realized is that I I want to embody this fullness and I can't limit myself anymore. I'm not, I literally decided I wasn't going to work and I had no concept of reality anymore. <laughs> I mean, that's, that placed a lot of strain on our relationship. Both of us just stopped working this summer, which, you know, probably seems really irresponsible, but we just didn't know what else to do. We were coming into all these sort of like telepathic abilities and, um, you're like, who has just, time to do this bullshit? <laughs> yeah, I've well, been there. Well, it was just a complete surrender to um, source, a complete surrender to this is my truth and I'm going to make this happen somehow. And I, I started my Instagram account for my art and I started to share and I started to realize that that was healing and that... I needed to be service to others and I, I had something to say and I've been hiding for so long just hiding um, hiding from my my true self and I didn't want to be that way anymore and I couldn't be that anymore because I had come into the awareness of my true self and I had seen the vision and I had seen how I experience everything I experience music as color and I experience um, Me just, too. Just, I feel, feel everything so deeply. You have and, um, <laughs> Yay! You're an artist too. You're an artist too. Yes. Oh my God! <laughs> I just, That's so crazy. You know, it just came to the point that I have to be this way, and I have to. I had to learn how to discipline myself to keep ascending, to keep healing, and um, so that's when I completely changed my diet, and I. Uh, started really changing my lifestyle behaviors in, in order to get to the place every day that I could create and I could um, I could um, channel and um, and engage in these meditations where I, I don't have any training or certification 
from anyone. I. But you're I, allowing God to flow through you. I'm just allowing the source to flow through me and over overflow and whatever words come to my mind I just say them without hesitation and you know and as I keep doing it the less thoughts I have that try to interfere from this sort of transmission I you guys got to sign up for her um, meditation class when does it start like we need to post um, a link Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe I can do that. Um, it's going to be starting on November 15th, and I'm offering daily live guided meditations through a closed Facebook group. And my meditations, like we're talking about, are channeled, and um, they are uh, infused with Reiki energy. I am a Reiki healer, so I tap into that. I tap into um, if I receive any messages. Um, from source, then I will say them and focus on the breath also. And yeah. sort of, it, it, it's, it's similar to what I do in my art, which is reaching a sort of trance state mm -hmm. uh, where you're just flowing in the energy of the music and the, the, the energy of source and you're just doing, you're taking action. And um, I, I believe that meditation is of fundamental in my day and I, I've changed the way I meditate as well I meditate uh, first thing in the morning before I even leave my bed <laughs> and um, that really, really helps, helps. Especially if you have anxiety or anything that really helps I've had so much I've had a really bad struggle with anxiety myself and um, just always being just I think a lot of it was just encoded in my DNA and I, yeah. it, it, <laughs> it's just something that was always there from the time I was born and I just like worried about, I would just worry about what I had to do that day and I would worry about, well, you know, what's going to happen tomorrow and just worry about everything you could possibly worry about and drive myself insane. And mm -hmm. uh, now, now I realize, why am I worrying? Because, you know, when you're worrying, you're taking yourself out of your own ability to be in the moment and to use exactly. your energy to, to be aligned with source coming out of oneness and being service to others. And so every time I start to get worried, I, I try to remind myself of this and um, visualize what I can do now. Like, and that's where meditation really helps is because it helps you to really observe like whether you're coming from a fearful point mm -hmm. of view or or maybe you're just like resentful or you feel regretful or or maybe you're like fearful of the future it, just all of that it makes you aware of it and you start to realize you don't have to be that way it's all about perspective too. Exactly. i mean because if you feel that feeling of being worried like oh my god it's the same vibration as being excited it's just your thoughts about it it's one mm -hmm. is anticipating and being excited about the future and another another is worrying about what could potentially go wrong so it's just exactly that focus. the phrase that kept coming to me this summer was trust in the unknown mm -hmm. you are worthy you need to walk fear i wrote several songs this summer um, and one was a song and the song is called you are worthy. And I say that phrase many times throughout the song. And it was like through singing the song, I was repeating it so much that I was getting through to my subconscious, um, yes. belief that, that, that I'm not. And I think, mm -hmm. think that's been there for all of my life. And that's, why I haven't been able to align fully before this and um because I, I I knew I was an artist from a young age and I just had many outside sort of things manipulating me that I don't even think meant to but just like the way our society is set <laughs> set up and just things I was exposed to um 
you know, you, I, I just got to accept that everything, you know, it is what it is and it, and it all comes back to the moment and there's really no, there's no use to, other than like reflecting upon what's happened, you know, when it comes to dwelling on it, that's where you got to stop yourself and just really come into um, the moment and start visualizing your life exactly what you desire and exactly what is dying to come out of you and just and just really work to get past all those fears and um, worries that you it's, it's the hardest thing to do and I completely relate because it's literally been a many years battle with me and anxiety I'm sure a lot of you can yeah. relate for <sighs> sure lost I mean, my train of thought there sorry I'm going to share your your link Oh, cool. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, I'm hoping we'll, um, we'll be a small, tight-knit group. And um, my intention is just to create a space for collective healing and love. And um, I want to bring, I want to bring more people. I just, I just have realized that how powerful the breath is. And it literally spurred this whole okay awakening journey was through the breath and through relaxing myself enough giving myself enough time to get through um certain you know experiences that were harder to get through in my life that i've been holding on to there i I just shared it cool (laughs) nice thank you Mm -hmm. i hope to see i hope to see some guys in there yeah, uh, and I will be there too with you guys because I'm like her biggest fan now that I just found her. So. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah, when you I messaged see. me, it was like, wow. I mean, when when I heard your Earth message, it was just like, wow, your words. Um, just some of the things you said, like I've been I've been hearing that in my head. It was almost like you're in my mind. <laughs> I know, right? That's exactly what I felt when I was hearing you. I was like, she was like talking about lifting us all together. I'm like, that's liter- That's like my motto. I'm like, come on, come on. What do you want to do? What do you want to create? Let's do it together. Like, that's how I've been all year. Yeah, I just, somewhere along the line this summer, I just realized that I, I, in, in, in every moment I could, I could, embody love Mm -hmm. whether I'm uh, playing with my dogs I can be mindful about it and I can give them you know my full attention and really just kind of like feed off their playful energy and allow that to serve me and and be there for them and if I'm walking and I see somebody on the road you know I can pray for them or I can smile at them or you know, I could be, I could be on the other side of the, the line. I could just like be lost in my own world and be completely like separate. And I just realized that we're not, and that we're always affecting everything around us. We're multi-dimensional beings, you know, energetically affecting everything. And so I just realized that I wanted to bring good energy to others. And, um, I started to live my life differently, um, through realizing that. That's beautiful. That's exactly how I felt. And these messages, I feel like we're, I'm like, we're connected to like the same, oh yeah, we are connected to the same source, aren't we? (laughs) Yes. Yes. Um, It really is a a beautiful, beautiful thing. And it's, it's hard to even describe like what I have felt. And that's why I love uh, expressing myself through my art and the color and, and the, the shapes and, um, having that resonate with people and, um, having that release and that time to meditate. And that's something else that I changed is I just gave myself time and no matter how like, un, you know, realistic that is for you. I mean, it's, it's so necessary to give yourself time to heal and get through some of the things that you need to because because 
we're all connected to source, but it, it was like, I was so blocked in this, this, and this way that I couldn't mm -hmm. feel it. Feel it. And so yeah. once I, wor I worked, I worked out some of those blocks, you know, then I could really tap in more. And mm -hmm. so that's what, that's what you're, that's what you heard in my meditation is, um, I'm, I'm truly, I'm truly tapping in and I feel it. And I feel like my body is like vibrating and I feel like sometimes I feel like I'm lifting out of my body. Um, mm -hmm. this summer actually I had some really weird experiences with my awakening where I, I literally left my body and I came back to it. And I was like, it's hard just... for me to stay in my body. <laughs> like that takes the mindful <laughs> effort to stay like, going out of body is like a natural just i do it all the time i don't even mean to yeah no i did it before so it was actually quite startling at first and i was like what is happening it is. and it would happen especially like, when you like the middle you hit the ceiling and you are looking back down on your body and you're like wait what i'm supposed to be there. <laughs> wait, what happened what's going on here <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. <clears throat> Um, what else can I tell you about my awakening? I was actually doing, I was, um, doing, um, a showcase in high school for dance mm -hmm. and I was by myself on stage and I remember just like popping all the way and going to the ceiling, like watching everybody watching me and then watching myself like, oh, I'm kind of a good dancer. Like, and then I was like, wait a minute aren't I supposed to be in my body? I was like, wow, I just like completely left my body for who knows how long. And that's, and that can be very dangerous, especially when you're driving your car and all of a sudden you're mm -hmm. not in your body. And that happens a lot because people dissociate so much. There's a difference between consciously um, wanting to astral project and leave your body versus dissociating so far that you leave your body completely. You're detached from your body. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there is different levels of all of that, but, um, yeah, you know, just a lot of this stuff just started happening and I had little awareness of what it was. And I, it, it was honestly a little bit frightening at first, but once I started everything. tapping into source, I, I felt that I was carried and I was protected and that this was just like my body working through all of this these things that no longer serve and that I need to shed. And I just needed to allow these things and people to leave. I needed to step further into the unknown and trust it and trust in the process and um, just let go. Just yeah, completely for sure. let go. Um, I think that's really important too, because so many people come to me and they're like, you know, what is my purpose? And they're trying to force something or push the energy, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it's the art of allowing and just allowing yourself to go in the flow of what feels good. That that's when you line what? up with your heart. That's when things start clicking. But it's like, especially when people come to me and they're like, what is my purpose? And I like feel into them and I'm like, I can't even see what your higher self is doing because you, your higher self checked out a long time ago and you've been walking in the opposite direction. So it's like, mm -hmm. you need to go in the other direction so I can even see, so you can even have any guidance. You know, if you're so far away from your, your own path that you're going in the direction of fear, you've numbed yourself out to hear any of your own internal voices, your own emotional guidance system. It's like, it's that moment that you have to consciously go in the other direction of what feels better and so that you can start bringing in yourself into your being exactly it's not, and, it's uh, not hard literally walking in the other going in resistance to what your higher self wants that's the hard thing it's when we're like banging ourselves into a wall going why isn't this working for us it's because we're in resistance because we're not going in alignment to our our path our purpose that's when it's oh difficult. God. Yeah, you know, and that's that was that was that job for me and it was hard and I cried every day. I would come home and just be devastated and um 
and it was all happening because I wasn't living in alignment. I wasn't going in the direction of my truth. I was living in resistance, exactly what you're saying. And, um, and I had been living in resistance so long that the universe needed to give me this final wake up call, um, to, well, not final, but it was I know, a big I'm like, one. Uh, <laughs> we'll probably give you some more. Yeah. Anyway, I could just totally relate to what you're saying. And, um, you know, I just, I didn't have the awareness at the time, uh, that, I should be doing what I thought was fun and what I thought was true. And, right? um, I, I wasn't visualizing my life. And every time I did, I would think, Oh, that's not possible. And I can't do that. That doesn't work for anybody. And I would just limit myself in that way. And so I, I just I think kept going. I do think that it's tough going. and work hard. <laughs> right. Yeah. And so somewhere along the way, I realized like, this, this is on what life is about. Like we should be singing. We should be dancing. Like we should be relaxing and enjoying each other's company. And, and so, you know, after that job ended and I would like, look at my instruments and I'd be like, wow, I haven't played my instruments in two years. Like, and I would be wow. so unhappy with myself because I am an artist and I'm, I'm a singer and, and I, I wanted to be doing that a lot. And, you know, it was just, it came to a point where I knew I had to be different. And so I just decided I'm going to create and I'm going to have fun. And in the visualization and manifestation kind of came a little bit after that, where I started to realize like, you know, maybe I should like write down or think about, start thinking about what I visualize and what I really want as aligned with, um, source and, um, and uh, I just recently kind of learned about the law of attraction too. And uh, I'm still kind of working on manifesting and um, just really changing any thoughts that are self defeating because I, I definitely still have sort of a throat chakra issue going on that's not completely healed. It's just a symptom, so, though. It's a symptom. So I'm trying to like ask every day for guidance, like how can I heal this issue? And I'm doing Reiki on myself and I've changed my diet and I'm moving every day. I'm dancing and I'm running and I'm painting every day and doing all of these good things. But have you tried, have you tried seeing your throat as a separate being and actually talking directly to it? No, I have not tried that yet. You should try that. Um, okay. I think that's a good idea. I like actually like seeing it. Like, um, I do this all the time with people like with their heart. Realizing it? Yeah. Like seeing it as a separate being and talk to it, have a conversation with it. I would definitely um, be open to that. And, um, I definitely think in my meditations, I've tried to visualize like the blue color and I've tried to like eat more blue foods. I know a lot of people do that and um, so different ways, but I never actually have said or, or visualized my throat chakra as a separate sort of energy center and uh, really worked on it individually. So, you know, it's just a matter of discipline and, um, you know, on my wall over here, I'll show you. <laughs> I, I just wrote down like the word discipline right here. You see that? No. But I, I don't like that word. Of a... That's not very fun. Discipline? Discipline? Well, I like it because <clears throat> engaging in these positive behaviors aren't always, isn't always going to be easy. It's, okay. it's almost like you have to train. Yeah. It's almost like you have to train yourself <laughs> yeah. to, to meditate. I had to train like myself to happy. meditate every day before I even leave my bed. It's yikes! That's intense. <laughs> it's not a very good word, but I like it because it, because it, I don't know. I guess it, I don't know. I just picked that word, but you can have a different word if you want. <laughs> okay, it just works for me. But having a practice, I like practice better. 
Pro oh yeah, that's better. better. You know? <laughs> it like, yeah, it just has that. to be more implementation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like uh -huh. it just feels uh -huh. so. Uh -huh. I would love.